It's been a long time coming, but we are finally, finally building an awning over our leaky little caravan. You have probably been getting really tired of seeing footage of us squeezing water out of the ceiling. Surprise, surprise, we're pretty sick of it too. So finally, after months, way too long, too many months, of iterations of different ideas and second guessing ourselves and then checking how much money we have in our bank account and realizing it's probably not enough for what we wanted to do. We finally settled on a plan. This is a lot of PVC piping. We're going to use that to make like a greenhouse type structure around the caravan. We bought this massive um, outdoor billboard, like this vinyl billboard. So we're going to use that as the top got the tubes we've got some stakes in here as well here and um, they are gonna be somehow cobbled together uh, to make a little awning for our caravan so we've finally got the plan we've got the materials we've hopefully got some of the skills um, so we're gonna see how this goes um, so yeah let's get scrappy this is how we left the caravan last time, just wrapped up in this top, um, and there was a lot of water in it. So there's probably still a lot of water in it, because it wouldn't have been able to evaporate. But at the very least, hopefully no more water has gotten in. Last time we were here, I started digging some really big holes um, for posts, because at the time, that made sense. But now, they're just terrifying and dangerous and full of water. So, safety first, you know? Uh, we're going to test out this first arch. Um, we don't want to cut it to size just yet, so we're just going to open the coil a little bit, start arching this over the caravan, so we have a, an idea of how tall it needs to be, if it will stay tense, and just so we can start envisioning it and seeing how it will all um, work together. <laughs> Finally, um, to make like a greenhouse sort of vibe, um, like a like a polytunnel kind of vibe. Uh, so I've got these stakes, these tea stakes, and gonna use six of those on each side of the caravan. Um, thread some PVC pipe onto them, and then the arches should reach over the caravan. Will will reach over the caravan, and then we'll be able to put this black top on top. And of course, we'll try to do some scrappy engineering to keep it all tight. <sighs> I hope this works. <laughs> I really hope this works. I've been questioning myself this entire time about like what's the best way to do it without you know spending too much money um, to try and get it up in one day as well with just the two of us. So this thankfully was uh, suggested to me by my mum who is the scrappiest engineer I know. No, she's actually really good at engineering. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> much the idea initially 
was for there to be sort of a hard frame for um, the structure. So pretty much in between the PVC arches, there will be there would be a stick or something hard keeping it tense. Um, yeah, we don't really have any. They would need to be quite long. Um, so instead, what uh, we thought of was to do something along the lines of tensegrity instead. So pretty much what we are going to try to do is in between these arches is put opposing forces um, so that they're tense and stretched out and then just anchor them to the wall on both ends. So we still need to, to do some figuring, at, uh, figuring out around this for sure, though hopefully it will work. done three um, <laughs> three pipes on this side are done uh, they're very wibbly wobbly they look like spaghetti um, but it's starting to look like it might be a thing at some point this is so scrappy and I don't know if it's gonna work honestly but it will keep the top off the caravan and it will keep the, uh, the rain off the caravan and that's kind of all we need for now at least this is a very um, temporary solution but hopefully it will actually be a solution so we're gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side and then we're gonna join them all together anchor it hopefully we'll have time to put the top on today we'll see um, but if not at least we've got most of the structure done Calling it a day for now. Yeah, it's, fine. it's coming together. <laughs> Looks quite wobbly. Uh, we recognize, though, again, I feel that um, with a bit of tensegrity, uh, we might uh, be able to solve this yet. It's a mystery. It remains a bit of a mystery, but at least it's a mystery I can touch now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Rather I mean, than just being in my head. Now that it's up, I think it's easier for us to get in, jump in, make stuff happen, and yeah, yeah we'll improve. Like, it's a bit, it's a bit, it's quite crooked. It's super crooked. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to hold up the weight of the top, but... It will. It, it will. will at least get it off the caravan roof, so that's something. It will, it will. Um, so yeah, major progress, though. Never as one wants, wants it to be, but still progress nonetheless. <laughs> If you want to see how this progresses, because it must progress, <laughs> um, <laughs> tune in next week. We'll have the second half of this, and hopefully it'll actually be finished by then. Um, in the meantime, if you like what we're doing, you can like this video, subscribe, follow along, leave us comments. Yeah. Um, and huge thanks to all of the supporters yeah. and the patrons that um, yeah follow us and support us throughout this journey. It's great to have you guys with us, and yeah. We hope to see you guys in the next one. Yeah, see you soon when this is less spaghetti-like and more awning-like. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> you can hear it echoing down the whole tube. <laughs>